In this video, I'm going to explain why it's definitely the case that you can prove a negative. If you haven't heard that phrase before, here's a background illustration. An atheist and a Christian have a conversation. Hello, Mr. Atheist. I hear that you believe that God doesn't exist. Is that correct? Why, yes, sir. I do not believe that God exists. Ah, I see. Do you have any proof for your position? Now, at this point, many atheists will go into arguments for why they do not think that God exists, like the problem of evil, for example. But some won't do this. Instead, they will simply retort that you cannot prove a negative. This phrase means that you cannot prove that something doesn't exist. Like, if I asked you to prove that there is no teapot orbiting Jupiter or something like that, you couldn't do that. And I'd agree. But I think that claiming you can never prove a negative is very silly. People have pointed out that surely we can prove that there are no living T-Rexes or that there are no married bachelors. But I also thought of a somewhat humorous example that shows that this claim is self-refuting. Imagine a paper with a proof of a negative on it. Do any such papers exist? If any papers do exist, or even could exist, then it's possible to prove a negative. But if you think that there are no papers like this, I'm going to ask you, how do you know? You'll respond with an argument or a proof for why these papers couldn't exist. But a proof for why something cannot exist is a proof of a negative. So if you cannot prove a negative, then that's a proof that no paper like this exists, which is the proof of a negative. That's just an interesting thought that I wanted to share. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. The end.